I had to knock on the door and come into the scene and talk to them. And I, every time I opened my mouth, all I could think of was, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe they're right in front of me. I can't believe that Jane Fonda and Lee Tomlin are right in front of me and I can't believe I'm talking to them. And so in my mind, while I'm trying to say my lines, I'm like, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. And that was incredibly exciting to me. I mean, those women, huge. It is my honor to be moderating the panel of this lovely, talented woman. You might have seen her in Austin Powers movies, The Goldbergs. You might have heard her in The Legend of Korra. Mindy Sterling, everyone, give her a big round. Hey! Oh, I'm so loud. I am so loud. Okay. <laughs> so how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing Every, pretty is well. Is everybody having a good time? All right, tell me. Raise your hand if, this, if you're not. Okay, that's good. All right. They have snipers. If you raise your yes. hand and you're not. You, they have to die. You're, you're gone. <laughs> so I found out about two years ago that we are both pet lovers. Yes. Will you tell us about your two lovely pets? You have a cat and a dog. I have a cat and a dog. Uh, I've always had cats, so I, kn I know pretty much how to take care of them. I have a cat, uh, Coco, who is 18. Yeah, which is, a, a, you know, I mean, you, sometimes I live until like 20, but she's 18. Um, she sleeps all day, and at night she meows the shit out of herself. I can't stand it. And then I have a dog who is my first dog, and her name is Hazel. And she is 14, and you know, she's a senior dog now, so I'm having to, to deal with a senior baby, and I love them so much, and every time I'm either with them or I'm not with them, I'm always worried. <laughs> but they're wonderful. Do you guys have pets? How many have dogs? How many have cats? How many have goldfish? How many have um, rats? Oh, thank God. Okay, good. Hamsters? How Hamsters, ham rats, whatever, you know. Rodents. Yeah. Rodents <laughs> of any kind. So this panel is for you guys. If you have a question, please come on up. I have plenty of questions that I can uh, ask this lady all day long, though we only have about a half an hour, so we got to talk really fast. So I'm going to talk like John Machida. No, um... <laughs> I know you like oddball questions. I like what? Oddball questions. Oddball questions sometimes are fun. So, my oddball question for you is what food do you absolutely hate and have you had to ever eat it for a roll? Oh, okay. Well, uh, I don't eat meat. I don't eat poultry. I just eat, I'm a pescatarian, so I just eat fish and, you know, other really healthy things. Um, so when I did eat meat, um, um, I did a commercial once, and it was for uh, chicken. And uh, what is what's the guy? Is he's um, he Purdue. was a Colonel the Colonel oh, Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders. Does anybody eat that? Is it still around, Colonel Sanders? Okay. Yeah. But I do remember having to do that. This was before. I didn't like, because I wouldn't do it now and eat chicken, but you, what you had to do is I had to eat it, and then when they, would, when they would yell cut, what you do is you spit it out into a bucket. <laughs> and to me, that was the grossest thing. <laughs> I mean, that in itself was a, a reason why I would never eat chicken again. Um, but no, I, if, if there's something that I can eat or won't eat, I just won't eat it. And they, they do have to. I think it was an ant farm. Um, they were going to give me chicken wings. And I said, I don't eat chicken, so you're going to have to come up with something else. So they gave me, like, a veggie chicken wing that looks like chicken, but it's not. So, so do they do a lot of substitutions sometimes for you? So, I mean, sometimes. I think they'll do that with, for anybody, really. I mean, if you're like going, I can't eat that, I'm allergic, or um, I don't eat that way, they will work things out for you. But the best thing to do is to let them know ahead of time so that they can come up with something else. Awesome. If you have a question, come on right up, and uh, you, will, will, you can use the microphone. Yes. 
My question was about the fried chicken commercial, and it was, was a bucket, a bucket of fried chicken, like that you normally put fried chicken in? Yes. That was my question. That was, it was gross. You know, and I kept spinning in there, and they never really cleaned them, so every time you spit them, you see like a little bit of what, was, what you did before. I know, it was gross. That's why I don't like chicken. Uh, yeah, and they sold it to somebody. And another one, what was your time on iCarly like? Oh, iCarly. Anybody watch iCarly? Um, I had a great time. The kids were wonderful. Um, I really like, you know, the idea that I don't like kids because I really do like kids. So I do like to be mean to them and then they can be mean to me. But they were so sweet. We were really, we really got along very, very well. One more? Um, what's your favorite Miss Briggs line? You know what? You're going to have to tell me what your favorite is because I don't remember. Um, what did she say that? My favorite is um, when Spencer says, um, can, now that I'm older, can I call you Margaret? And you're like, my name is Francine. Oh, good one. Okay. Then that's going to be my favorite. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Another victim for the questionnaire. Hey, Minnie, how are you? So, I'm a huge fan of the Austin Powers films. Those are a huge part, it's a huge part of my childhood. What was it like working with Mike Myers, and what was your favorite character he played? Like, Dr. Evil, Austin, oh, Fat okay. Bastard. Fat Bastard is mine, but just because a big, fat, angry Scottishman, it just, it works so well. It just, I don't know why it does, it just does. If it was an Englishman or a Frenchman, it just wouldn't have been as funny. No, uh, yeah, he did, I mean, look, everything he does is pretty, you know, magical, but, um... I think it was a great, uh, really a, 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 a great, you know, being around them and doing three Austin Powers. That's pretty amazing that, that many people get to do that. And um, I, loved, I loved working with Mike because he just wanted it to be funny. You know, sometimes we would add a little bit, sometimes we would not, but there was nothing better for me than to make him laugh. And if I could make him laugh, I know I did a good thing. And so there were a couple times where um, I made him laugh. I think it was the, the first one was when I, I came out and I went, um, doctor, doctor, you know, and it's hi, blah, 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 and I go, I'm late. And he said, no, no, you're right on time, blah, blah, blah. And then I have to go, no, I'm late. And I made him laugh a couple of times. And so it was really hard to keep a straight face. You know, when something's funny and somebody tickles you, it's, you know, it's really hard. So I, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed a lot of those moments and working with all these other incredible people. Um, and uh, I was very grateful that I got to be in all three of them because that doesn't happen very often. So it was, it was, just, it was special for me. Awesome. To kind of follow up on that, did you have to audition for the role? Yes. And what was that process like? Uh, auditioning for it is, um, I went into a, a room and the director was sitting just a couple feet away from me and uh, I had a, um, a script, so I kind of, I think the first script I had was, you know, when I was doing the, um, uh, the serial. And it was, you know, Lucky Charms, you know, la, la, la. And I did what it said, and then he said to me, great. Now I want you to improvise. Does everybody know what improvising means? That means just, yeah, you don't have, okay. I'm a much better improviser than I am a screen, uh, having to rem uh, uh, memory, uh, memory, memory things. So I, um, I sort of did it and I just, I don't even remember what I said and I just went on and on and on and on and then I stopped. And great, thank you, blah, blah, blah. And I left and I thought, oh my God, I was horrible. He hated me, they hated me, they don't want me. And as an actor or an actress, sometimes you go into that dark place. And, uh, and then I got it. So that was like, I was very, very honored and incredibly shocked. Well, we are glad that you got the part. I don't think the movies would be the have been the same. Oh, thank you. With someone else. So. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, come on up. Um, actually, let me get Bobby first because you've had a few questions, and then we'll get you. 
Saunter, yeah. saunter, saunter. <laughs> hey, Mindy, me again. <laughs> All right, you already know that I'm obsessed with Drop Dead Gorgeous. Super underrated film. And at the time of filming, like, all the main actresses, like, they're so big now, but they were so young back then. So what was it like working with, like, Kirsten Dunst, Denise Richards, Brittany Murphy, Amy Adams, all, like, at, at their teenage years? Uh, it was, that, and again, was such, um, such a treasure for me. I knew the woman that wrote the script, and uh, not well, though, but I knew her. She was a student of mine at the Groundlings, which is an improvisational... Um, um, school and performance and um, I was like please I want this so bad and when I got it and realized who I was working with I mean there was Kirstie Alley and then there was all these people that were not they had not come to their you know status yet so when you're saying people um, like um, Kirsten Dunst and um, uh, who is who else? Brittany Murphy. Brittany Murphy. Denise Richards. Denise Richards. Amy Adams. Amy Adams and Ellen Barkin. Yes, Ellen Barkin. Ellen Barkin and Allison Janney. Allison Janney. These were these people that are huge in the acting world right now, and and they were the most smartest. They were smart. And they always would ask me things. The younger girls would ask me things. Yeah, you know, I think Amy Adams was like, yeah, I'm thinking about going to New York. I mean, uh, to uh, Los Angeles. And my my brother's a dancer, and, and it was just they were just lovely, 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 lovely people. And after the film came out, and you realize, boom, boom, they became huge stars. And I was like, oh my God, I knew they were good. It's just a matter of, you know, paying your dues, doing the work, being who you are. Um, and to this day, they're, they're all lovely people. I mean, if I see them, I know they're gonna know who I am, but you know, I don't call them and ask them to go to the mall with me or anything, so. Well, it's one of my favorite movies, and like, it's such a great cult classic now, and I'm glad it's finally getting the recognition that it deserves, because it is so fun. Ha any, has anybody seen, besides, has anybody seen Drop Dead Gorgeous? Okay, one. That you all have something to do tonight. So you all need to do something this weekend. See Drop Dead Gorgeous. I know you can find it somewhere. Um, it's, it's about um, a... Um, uh, what do you call it? A the American Teen Princess. Patrick. It's the American Teen Patrick, <laughs> and it is so funny. It takes place in Minnesota, so we all can attack like that. <laughs> and uh, it is just—it's wild and crazy and funny, you guys. So I—I I think you'll really enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. I knew I had to call on him because otherwise he would have just burst well, onto the I stage. I was going to say, and I wanted him to. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's go with uh, the queen first. Again, we want to space out, give everyone a chance. Here you Hi. are, Angel. Hello, hello. I'm Angel on uh, My question is... Uh, what character have you played in your career that you feel has uh, most resembled uh, some of yourself inside? Any character at all? Ooh, okay. Well, let's see now. Um, I, I did do a show called Legit years ago. Has anybody ever seen Legit? Get it together, people. You've got to watch my stuff. Uh, anyway, it was really, really fun to do. I was more me. I was a mother of two sons, uh, one of which was um, in a wheelchair. And um, I was very overprotective. Uh, so that was, that was a lot really close to me because I am a mother. I'm very protective. And I got to kind of be more me, you know, a little silly and also... You know, um, you know, very, very, um, you know, she doesn't like taking crap from anybody. So that was kind of fun, and it wasn't a big, wacky character. It was just, it was just more human. Right. Yeah. Now, are, are there any characters that you've played that you've uh, felt uncomfortable with? Uncomfortable? All? Yes, uncomfortable. Yes. Oh, wow. I have to put you on the spot. I don't oh, mean wow. to do that. Because you know when I leave here, I'll go, oh, my God. 
Um, no, I don't think it's that I've been uncomfortable with the character. I would say it may be more I was uncomfortable with the director or I was uncomfortable with how they set things up or... But I, I, I like all my characters that I played. I don't think I was ever, um, you know, ever did anything that I went, well, I was, I sucked. Though a lot of times I do say no, that. But all. yeah, so those are good questions. I've got to think about some answers for the next time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you may approach the bench. <laughs> <laughs> and turn. No, I'm teasing. Um, I have a couple questions. The first one was, um, have you seen the iCarly reboot? Uh, no, I have not. I know that they were doing it. They had asked me if I would be interested, and I kind of said no. You know, it was time to move on, and uh, it was all new people except for, I guess, three of them. Yeah, I just, I didn't want to do it. And, um... We got it? I, That's I, okay. I, I remember, um... What stars did you meet, did, were, did you work with before they were famous, and now you're like, wow, they're good, other than, like, the ones you said in uh, Drop Dead Gorgeous? Wow, that's a really good question. Um, I'm not really sure, um, you know, I mean, you, you do find people that you go, oh, there they are, I, but no, no one comes to mind right now except for all the Drop Dead Gorgeous people. Um, they, uh, that was like a whole group of them that all of a sudden became big, big hits. Um, so, yeah, um, I, I, I always think there are a lot of people that I'll be working with and I'll think, you're going to go somewhere. You're, you're very good. You're very polished. You're whatever it is that they do well. But I can't, nothing comes to mind. I think he's got one more. Yes. Um, so I, if I remember correctly, you were in... Um, Put your mic up just a little bit. If I remember correctly, you were in The Little Rascals too. Were you not? Oh, I did a very small part in that. I don't know if you saw that. Um, did you work with Jenna Ortega? With who? Jenna Ortega. She's really popular now. Oh, gosh, maybe. I don't remember. She's Wednesday in the new show. Oh, you know what? I, was she in that? Yes, she was Marianne. I, you know, I might not have worked with her in, in the scene that I did, so I don't know if I've met her or not. That was a long time ago. That was, that was uh, yeah, you have a good memory. Well, I have a quick question, and then we're going to get to this gentleman here. Um, you talk about moving on from roles, but are there any characters that you've played in the past that you'd love to revisit and kind of replay them? And kind of show where they are now today. Oh, I would love to do, um, you know, Frau. I would love to do another, one more Austin Powers. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I would love to do that. I would. Um, I don't know. You know, I think you do things and then you move on and um, you, you find, you know, bits and pieces of the characters that you do and they're with you or a part of you is with them. So... Um, yeah, I mean, I don't always want to play, you know, horrible, terrible people. Um, and, Cause you know, I like, I like smiling and laughing and all that kind of stuff. The Goldbergs, I, I did five, um, you know, uh, seasons of that. And I loved doing that and being kind of kooky and kind of not, you know, really strong. And she's, she's just a silly mom. Um, so yeah, so I'm open for anything. Very nice. You may approach the bench. <laughs> uh, actually, to kind of piggyback off what you just said, you want to do another Austin Powers, what has been the roadblock to make that fourth Austin Powers? Because I'm sure everyone here would love to see a fourth Austin Powers film, but for whatever reason, just like after Goldmember, I thought one would come out like, you know, maybe you know, another two or three years after, but here we are 20 years later. I'm wondering, like, what is it that's keeping that film from getting made? I have no idea why that film has not gotten made, other than I do know that Mike has not written it yet, or he hasn't, um, you know, worked on it as, you know, to, to, his, to his liking. Um, I'm sure there's probably, you know, studios and um, all sorts of people at the top that have to make those kind of choices and those kind of 
arrangements. So I know that he wanted to do another one. I know he told me he wanted to do another one, and it would be from Dr. Evil's point of view, which would have been great for me. Um, but I really don't. I wish I knew the right answer to give you because I know a lot of people would love to see a fourth one. Again, tweet about it. <laughs> no, right <laughs> yes. at Mike Myers. Yes. Um, you've also done a lot of roles with voice acting, like I Love You in The Legend of Korra. Has there been a line that you've had to do in studio for a character that is particularly memorable, maybe... It was hard to get out, or it was just weird, or it's like, I never thought I would say that in my life? Ooh, probably, but um, I don't think of it like that, I guess. Um, so, and again, you know, once, once I do voice, especially voiceovers, you do voiceovers, and then I'm, I'm done. And when people come up to me and go, oh my God, I love when she said, I go, I don't remember that. You're not, you know, I mean, you're involved with it in a different way. You're not, you know, I mean, you're still acting. You still have a mic. And they may sometimes say, um, do them three times, three different times, uh, three different ways. And then what you're doing is more technical about it. And then they go, great, we'll take the second one or whatever. So I love, love doing voiceover. I would like to do more voiceover. I think it is... Um, it's a, it's a different challenge, and um, I love not having to dress up really nice or having hair and makeup on your butt. And um, so it, 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 it's, and it's a much more, I guess, you know, closed in kind of nice little sweet time that you have with a mic, a director, and, um, you know, sometimes you're not talking to really anybody. You're just saying lines. Has there been something, a voice role that you've performed and then by the time they animated it, because that's a long process, you were like, wait, I was in that. Oh my God, I don't know half the things that I, that I did. <laughs> I might, you know, someone will go, oh my God, what were you in Family Guy? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you'll have to look it up. I, I really just don't, you know. I um, mean, it's different when you do a big strong character or you know it's 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 a character that is prominent in the show but if you do a couple of lines or if you do a small character it's like i don't know and i'm so I'm sorry I'm so old <laughs> very cool any other questions please anyone besides him before i call on him let's let's get this lovely <laughs> hi hi Hello. Hello. I do apologize if this was asked. I was stuck at check. Oh, that's in. all right. <laughs> I just wanted to know in any of the roles that you played, or have you been starstruck by your co-stars? Oh, for other with other people with me? Yes. Okay, I did. <laughs> uh, I did a little show called Grace and Frankie. I don't know if you ever watched that. Okay, so it was with. Um, uh, uh, oh God! Now I'm like, um, what's who it was with? Fonda, yes, yes, and um, Lily Tomlin. So I had to talk, to, I had to come in, I had to knock on the door and come into the scene and talk to them. And I, every time I opened my mouth, all I could think of was, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe they're right in front of me. I can't believe that Jane Fonda and Lee Tomlin are right in front of me and I can't believe I'm talking to them. And so in my mind, while I'm trying to say my lines, I'm like, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. And that was incredibly exciting to me. I mean, those women, huge. And they were so sweet. And I remember Lily Tomlin, she would, uh, when, you know, when it would be cut, all right, she would just stand there and she would look at me like this. It was so odd, but she was so sweet and so lovely. So that was, that was the one that I was like, oh, no, it's not just one I'm talking to. It's two. Yeah, that was a big deal. I don't know what they're saying, but I hope that we're not going to die. Okay, quick aside. This has nothing to do with you. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, the film awards are actually going on upstairs right now. The what? The Film Awards. The Film Awards? What is that? Does anybody know? It, there's a film festival. It's a film festival. Go. 
But we have time for about maybe two more questions. I'll let you have one of them. And I'll let uh, Barf have the other. Barf, come up first. I'm sorry, Bartholomew. His formal name. Hi again. Hi again. So my question for you is, even though it was a small role, how was it working with the Grinch? I'm so sorry, I, all this noise yeah. just, yeah. How was it working with the Grinch? Oh, Grinch was great. Grinch was very interesting. It was also very challenging. Um, we all had uh, prosthetics on our faces, our noses and things, so it took about three hours to get, uh, you know, your, your, you know, your, your uh, makeup done and then hair, uh, wigs and stuff. But what a lovely group of people I got to work with. Jim Carrey was very involved in what he needed to do. He wasn't as playful as I thought he might be, but he also was very uncomfortable. He had, you know, this stuff on his, uh, his body. He had stuff, his eyes. So I could tell that he just wanted to do the work and let's move on. And, but all the people that I, I met some great friends from that. And it was, look, it's, it's, it was a big, a big hit. I'm another big hit I was in. So, um, that kind of stuff is, is warms my heart. Absolutely. All right. Bring us home. Yay. You can ask one question. <laughs> <laughs> so my question was about something I saw in a previous panel, like on YouTube. And that was, um, when you had said to your son in the car, you were like, get out, get out. What? Say that again? What? Like when your son was younger, you said that, um, he, you would say, get out, get out of the car. And that would make him laugh. Oh, my son. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know what you, okay. So oh, everybody likes me to scream. So I'm going to do one scream from you and then I'll tell you what I do to my son. So these are the things that I, you know, some of the things that I, you know, would say, um, um, let's see, do, do you have your, do you have a favorite? Well, that's really okay. That, well, that, yes, but I only, that, I'll say that to my son. So, you know, it would be things like, lower the globe! Five, four, three, two, one! So, th that kind of stuff. Okay, you all know that. All right. So, when my son was little, and this was after I did the, the, the films, and I would take him to school, <laughs> and, you know, it's like, I'm his mom. I'm not like an actress. I'm his mom. But I would make him laugh every time. I still think I can do it every, every now and then. If I'm driving, we go, we, and I either take him to school or we go into um, my garage in my, where I live. <clears throat> and uh, I stop, and he kind of takes a while to get out, and I'll go, get out! And he laughs. I didn't make you laugh. I'm going to try to make you laugh. Ready? Okay. Get out! That's what would happen. He would laugh, and it would just light, light up. He would light up. So yeah. So I can, I can scream. Anybody else can have a shrill scream like me? No? Yes, you do. Woo! Give her fifty dollars. <laughs> Out of your budget, not mine. Yeah, I know. I'm sure. <laughs> well, thank you for your question. That was very good. Thank you so much. Those were such good questions. I really appreciate it. You guys, first of all, thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you for uh, loving all the stuff that I'm in. I am so, I'm a very, very grateful person. I owe so much to you, the fans. And um, I hope that we get to meet each other at another con. Absolutely. Give Mindy Sterling a big round of applause. Visit her at her, visit her, at her table. You know, she has more stories to tell. We don't have enough time to Oh, cover war all the stories. stories. Or horror stories. I'm not sure what you said. But more, we'll figure it out. More. Yes, I'm, okay. I, I'm sure you have other stories too, but <laughs> again, one more round of applause for Mindy. Thank you, guys. thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Erica Harlicker Stone and you're watching a fandom spotlight. Yay! Make sure to like and subscribe. Do it. Do it right now. It's free. You don't have to pay anything. I don't know why you aren't doing it. Seriously. I'm going to keep saying it until you do it. Ugh. Okay, thank you. Yay. Remember to have fun and follow your fandom. Bye.